Excellent! We are right on course! Uh, Connor? Be on the lookout for redcoats. We will never finish in... Get back on the horse, Connor. Connor? Careful, Connor. There might be other scouts around. Get back on the horse, Connor. Be on the lookout for red coats. Yes, this is exactly where we need to be. I believe we are on course. I believe we are on course. Be on the lookout for red coats. Left! To the left, Connor! Somehow. Left. Careful, Connor. There might be other scouts around. To the right, Connor. To the right. Excellent! We are right on course! Might be safer if we approach the houses on foot. This is it! You have got the right place! Spread the word. The regulars are coming out. At once! Mm. 
I believe we are on course. This way, Connor! Go right, Connor! We should dismount for this. Be quicker and quieter. This is it! You have got the right place! The regulars are coming. Here! We're here! Get them! Find a way to get rid of them, Connor! Gotta shake those red coats. Faster! We need to get away from them. That was much too close for comfort. Let us take care to avoid any further surprises. To the right, Connor! To the right! Excellent! We are right on course! We will never finish in time if we go by foot! This is not right. <laughs> to the right, Connor! To the right! Excellent! We are right on course! To the right, Connor! To the right! <laughs> Let us continue the search on foot. This is it! You have got the right place! Where the devil is he? Are you sure we are in the right place? Well, sure I'm sure. Prescott? Evening, gents. Listen, the regulars are out. You need to rally your men. And, uh, put on some trousers. At once!
Welcome to Lexington, Connor. Now let's find Hancock and Adams. Hmm. No sign of Dawes. I hope he's all right. Paul, Connor. Good to see you. You need to leave. The Redcoats are coming. Aye, so Williams told us. Let them conduct their little search. They'll find nothing. You don't understand. Pitcairn intends to kill you. I'm afraid it's true. I suppose we have no choice then but to go. What of you three? Dawes and I will continue on to Concord. Connor? It's best you stay here and help our man John Parker hold the town. It'll give us time to spread the word. Stand your ground, men! <coughs> Don't fire! <coughs> Unless fired upon! But if they mean to have a war, let it begin here! <coughs> Pitcairn. Disperse, you damn rebels! Lay down your arms and disperse! What the deuce are you doing? Hold your position! Cravens! Traitors! They are not coming back. We will have to make do with those who remain. Don't you lecture me, or not. Return fire! Return fire! You need to get to Concord and warn the others. Show this to whoever leads there. Should be a man by the name of James Barrett.
helping men with little... and keep the pace! To Concord, lads! Blood's been spilled in Lexington, and there's more to come. The regulars are on the march. You don't say. And why do you think I'm men up here? Go home, or you get yourself killed. I'm enough to worry about without some green boy looking to play at hero. I can vouch for him. John Parker as well. Where's Revere? Captured. What? Fear not. That man's no stranger to sticky situations. You'll be fine. I'm sure of it. <clears throat> Your ladies finished gossiping? Parker seems to believe you're not completely useless, so I suppose there's a thing or two you might be able to help with. When the fighting starts, we'll need to hold those positions there. They're critical to the defense of Concord. Good boys. Not used to soldier, and they need some with the experience to direct them. That's something you can do. You'd best be telling the truth. You have my word. Then I suppose all that's left to do is wait. No! Ensure my men hold those positions. If the Red Devils break through, we're finished. What would you have me do? Listen carefully. The Redcoats will form firing lines. Order the men to shoot just before the line is ready. Too soon and they'll miss their targets. Too late. And the enemy will open fire first. Understood. And if any of those bastards make it through, engage them. You must keep my men alive.
Wait for my signal. yourselves. Fire now! Make ready! Fire now! Open fire. Wait for the signal. Hold fire. Go. Wait for the signal. Go. Prepare yourselves. Go! Prepare yourselves. Go! My signal. Make ready. Go. My signal. Fire now. Wait for my signal. Fire. Hold fire. Shoot. Prepare yourselves. Wait for my signal. Go! Hold fire!
wait for the signal. Signal. Go! Prepare yourselves. Fire! Make ready. Shoot! Fire now! Prepare yourself. Fall back! Fall back! We did it! They're turning tail! Takes a true monster to do something like this. At least they're gone. I should have struck when I had the chance. Do you know where Pitcairn could have gone? Back into the withered bosom of the British, no doubt. So that he may regroup and plan his next atrocity. I need to find him. Every day I wait, more will suffer. Chin up, friend. Many who should have died today now live because of you. And what of them? We do the best we can with what we've got. It is not enough. Hmm. It never is. For the support of the glorious cause. I beg they will accept my most cordial thanks for this distinguished testimony of their approbation. But lest some unlucky event should happen, unfavorable to my reputation, I beg it may be remembered by every gentleman in the room that I, this day, declare with utmost sincerity, I do not think myself equal to the command I am honored with. Truly, there as is pay, no man better sir, suited to the task. I beg to assure really? the Congress that as I can no think of pecuniary several. consideration could have taken me Lee. to have accepted this arduous employment at the Do I know you? I would not expect happiness. you to remember. <laughs> I Come, Connor, there's there's someone I want you to meet. I will keep an exact account of my expenses. Sorry to pull you away Those like I that, but not, they will the last thing we need and is, that is the all two of you coming to blows. Now, Connor, allow me to introduce you to our newly appointed Commander-in-Chief, George Washington. Ah, so you're the one who saved Sam and John at Lexington. It was the Patriots who did that. I merely lent support. <laughs> as humble as he is brave, we could use more men like you. I'm sorry, but if you'll excuse me, I should attend to Charles over there. 
He looks none too happy about being passed over for command. It was good to meet you, Connor. Tell me you have news of Pitcairn. I'm told he's taken shelter in Boston, where he's guarded by a thousand redcoats. The only way you're gonna get at him is if we draw him out. Now, lucky for you, we're launching an offensive against the city in order to do just that. Israel Putnam has been given command of our forces. Present this to him and he'll provide whatever aid you require. You'll find him at the encampment on Bunker Hill. You have my thanks. No need. It's the least I could do. Pitcairn's a dangerous man. The sooner we're rid of him, the better. I would say the same of Charles Lee. Now that's an altogether different beast. Let us leave it for another day. Best you head to Boston, Connor. Still here, are you? I was just wondering, what happens now? There's quite a lot to do. Commander Washington must determine when and where we'll strike next. And we need to get to work on our message. Message? We must contact the broadsheets at once. Ensure it's clear to everyone that it was the Loyalists who fired first in Lexington. But no one knows who fired first. Which is exactly why we must spread the news quickly. We'll determine public opinion. This seems dishonest. Perhaps, but so what? People must believe we acted in self-defense, else we've committed treason. But you have. Better to bow and scrape before a tyrant, then? Is that what you suggest? No, of course not. No one should be denied freedom. And yet, to change the truth, it seems a dangerous road to travel. Understand, Connor. This is a war fought not just on the battlefield, but within hearts and minds as well. There's nothing wrong with a bit of theater, especially if it saves lives.
was. Eight months in the Kentucky frontier, trapping and skinning elk. Well along my third bale when they came upon us. No less than a dozen Shawnee hunters had us surrounded at the point of musket and arrow. My bush partner froze up stiff. The fear chilled me the same, but I managed to muster what little Shawnee I was knowing. The leader spoke too quick, but I gathered we was poaching. Having crossed into their territory a month or so hence, their musket barrels stared us down, the heads of their arrows smiling sharp at our backs. I bumbled a proposition and busted Shawnee. Our full piece, my three bales, and my partner's two less a half, in exchange for us quitting the Shawnee bush on our own legs. Leader nods to his boys. They load up our take and start back into the trees. The honcho stays a spell longer, just staring. Staring right through us with his two black eyes. And then he was gone. We picked up, set back east the way we came. Months of profit lost, but our own hides intact. Never saw the Shawnee again, but I know they was following us. I could feel their eyes on our backs, clear to North Carolina. and stay your business! I'm looking for Israel Putnam. On whose orders? Samuel Adams. Follow me. This is not Bunker Hill. Briggs, there's been some disagreement as to where we should encamp. Any news from Boston? The Tories aren't moving, and any time we try to press them, we lose a dozen men. I think Putnam and the others plan to assemble artillery on these hills. A good shelling might make the Red Coast rethink their strategy. And what of John Pitcairn? That bastard's the cagiest of the bunch. He's appeared time to time to taunt us or send regards by way of cannon fire. It's all right, though. He'll have what's coming to him soon enough. Putnam's just up ahead. You can't miss. I don't care much for your excuse, gentlemen. We should be building on Bunker Hill. Breeze is closer to the city, but it is also closer to their artillery! Our orders keep... Our red black 
case. I'm going back to Bunker Hill. Good thing, gentlemen. General Putnam. What? I'm looking for John Pitcairn. I was told you would be able to help me find him. He's stuck away inside that city with no reason to be. As long as that ship continues, it's a song. We'll never flush him out. But if the ship was silenced... Oh, then the poor John might be forced to get off his arse and come forward. I'll supply this flag to signal my success. And I shall speak fondly of you at your funeral. 